Now that we've created a tour summary report, we need to use design view to uh, make a few enhancements. As you can see, the tour start date doesn't have enough room to be displayed entirely, so it's showing, out, showing up as pound, pound, pound. And we have too much room over here. And some of our um, column names don't really sound so good, like sales number of count and price of sum. So right now, we're going to switch to design view. Okay, so this is a tour summary report down here. We're going to switch to design view. And now in design view, you're going to see that there are a few sections here that makes up the report. And the top most section is called the report header. This, uh, this will display only once at the very start of the report. And then you have something here called the page header, which will display at the top of every page. Right now it's empty so it's it's closed up but if you wanted to put something at the top of every page you could actually put it over here okay but we'll close it up right now um, keep it closed for now and then you have the category header which will appear once for each category and um, over here we have the titles for each of our columns and uh, earlier we said that you know some of our column names sound a little awkward like over here, price of sum. Okay, price of sum. We're going to change this to revenue because that sounds better. So I'm going to type revenue here. Now, you're allowed to change the, um, the labels of columns up here, but you're not allowed to change the names of the detail fields down here because the detail, the detail actually has to match the names coming from our data source, which is the query. Okay, so for now, we're just going to change names up here, but we cannot change the names of anything down here in the detail. Um, another column name we want to change here is uh, sales number of count because we want to call it units because this shows you the number of units uh, of each tour package that was sold. Okay, and then state abbreviation, we're just going to call this state. No need to say abbrev. Okay, and since the state is only two characters, we can actually reduce the width of this field, we don't really need so much there. And for the units, I'm going to reduce it here. And for the revenue, I'm going to move it a little backward here. So we need to align the columns with the data. We need to align the field uh, names with the data. So this is the heading up here in the category header. And then this is the name of the detail field down here. So for the units, we're going to now again, these little little dots, you see these little dots here, these little dots are meant to guide you in lining things up. Okay, so you just have to be very careful. And it's okay if you don't get it right the first time because um, you can, you may need more than one round to make it look good. Okay, so here is the state. I'm going to move it over here. Okay, again, I'm lining things up here. Okay, and then for the city. For the city, I may not need all this room here, so I'm going to shorten it somewhat. I'm going to move it over here. And I'm going to move the, the heading over here too. Okay, and then for the tour start date. Okay, now if we didn't have enough room for this field, so obviously I need to make it bigger. And I'm also going to move it over here. And I'm going to call this start date. And okay, I can make the state a little shorter. It's okay if the name of the detail field doesn't show up. I mean, it's still state abbreviation here. It just doesn't. Sh we just need two characters here, so I think I'm gonna reduce this some more. Okay, and then move city over here. OK, 
Okay, I think I'm going to need more room for the name. So I'm, I'm leaving more room for the name here. Right. Okay, so that's a tour name. I'm going to put a space here. Okay, so so far what we've done is we've changed some of the column names here so that they sound better. And we also increased or decreased the space um, allocated to each of these fields, but we did not change the names in, inside these detail fields. Okay, and then uh, over here, we have the footer for each category. And for the footer, we have two totals. Okay, this is the total that corresponds to the revenue. So we have to line it up with the revenue column. Okay. So this lines up with this one. Okay, these Okay, this these two should line up. And then for the units, it should line up with this one. All right. So these two go together. And then over here for the label, the word sum is um, is a little bit not too attractive. So I think I'm going to change it to totals. Totals. Okay. Okay. Now at this point, we've done a few changes. So I'm going to right click here on the tab and click save. And then I'm just going to go to um, report view to see what my changes look like at this point. Okay, so you can see that um, now the tour name is showing up completely, the start date is showing up completely, the city is showing up completely, and our units and revenue are lined up and everything looks good, right? Now, now one thing we could uh, change is um, over here we have this box summary for category equals adventure 10 detail records I think this information is not really so useful so I'm going to remove this one um, we already have totals here and I think it's understood but we can format this so that it has a dollar sign just like the ones up here okay so that's a uh, one more thing we can do and you know right now we are in report view which is how the report will display if it was on screen but if you were to switch to print preview Okay, print preview is what it would look like if it were printed out. And this is what it would look like if it were printed out. So this is page one. Okay, and then this is page two. All right, so it's okay. It's, it's not too um, attractive at this point. Maybe we would want to put the name of the company or the name of the report at the top of each page. So it, this, this page seems a little bit like incomplete. Okay, so we'll put a page header. And then uh, if you look at the grand total, the grand total, we also need to line it up. And, or maybe, you know, specify which total this is and which total this is because it's not very clear right now. So we still have a few more things to do. So I'm going to switch back again to design view. Okay, so we said on the category footer, we're going to get rid of this, you know, summary for category equals how many records. This was automatically put there by the wizard and we don't need it. So I'm going to click it and right click. I'm going to click this one and I'm going to press delete on the keyboard. And now that's gone. And, you know, it's always nice to put a line some up here in the design. There's some controls. Uh, again, there are a lot of controls you can put. Uh, for now, I'm just going to use this line. Okay, and I'm going to uh, draw a line above the total. So I'm going to, to make sure I draw a straight line, I'm just going to press shift on the keyboard and I'm going to drag. And that way, even if my hand isn't steady, the line will be straight. Okay, so now I have a line there. Okay, so that's the line. And um, okay, so for the grand total down here, this is in the report footer, which is which only appears once at the end of the report. So here it says grand total, and there's two totals here. This total is for grand total for the units sold, and this one is the grand total for the revenue. Now, I think I'm just going to move it up here. I'm just going to move it here, because it's not really very clear right now what total it's referring to. I'm going to move it up here, drag it here, and then maybe 
here. Now, okay, I'm going to say total units. Okay. Okay, I'm here in the report footer right now. And, okay, and then I'm going to drag it here. And then this is the total revenue. And um, maybe I'm going to copy this box, you know, copy, copy it one more time and paste it here. Okay, so now I have another box here. And then I'm going to change this to total revenue. Again, you can format your grand total, uh, your report footer in whatever way you want. But this is, I'm trying this out to see if this will look okay. Right, and then uh, for the revenue, you can right click and go to properties. Oh, wait, the properties window was open all, all along. Okay, so here w for the format, we want to set the um, format. Okay, it's over here. There's something here called currency. Okay, this is currency. If you shift to the right, you'll see that it looks like this. So you want to add a dollar sign, comma, and decimal places. So I'm going to set it to currency. Okay, and, and then I can click X up here. And I'll do the same thing here. Right click, properties. And then for the format, okay, click here. An arrow will appear and you can choose currency. Okay, and then click X to close. Okay, and we also said that we wanted to put a title at the top of every page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this box here on the report header and I'm going to press Control X and then I'm going to paste it here in the page header instead because I want to I want it to appear at the top of each page and not just once at the start of the report. And then over here I don't need the report header anymore. So I can actually right click here and then in the back color, I'll just say transparent or, you know, nothing, no color. And then I'm just going to close this section. So I moved whatever was in the report header into my page header. I could even uh, put this in the middle. Okay. And uh, I can right click on the page header and I can give it a back color, you know, like if I wanted a dark blue. And then I can click this text and appear under home. I can change the font color to white. I can make the title a little bigger, like 24. Okay, then I need to make this a little bigger. And, uh, you know, I can make it bold. All right. Now, um, another thing I can do here is perhaps for each of the... Um, column titles in the category header field, I can make them a little bit, you know, st stand out a bit more. I could make them bold, for example. And uh, I could make them a little bigger. I can change the font. Fonts up here. So, I'll try that. Let me try 12. Put a space here. Okay, sometimes uh, there's not enough room to show the, the word, so you just have to make the box a little bigger. Okay, and I'll do the same for this one, category. I'm also going to bold and make it size 12. All right, so let's see what, and over here, I'm also going to bold the labels here. And the grand totals. Over here. Okay, 
All right, now let's go look at the report view. Okay, so now this is what it looks like. So here we have the totals. They appear in bold and slightly bigger than the rest of the report. And um, okay, so so far everything looks lined up and the report looks cleaner. And this is our grand total. Now, um, we have boxes around our category totals and I think the boxes aren't really that attractive. And uh, you may also be interested to change this color here or maybe you want to remove this color entirely because you see we have alternate background colors for each row. So um, I'm going to go back to the sign view. Okay, so there's boxes here. Again, they were placed there by the wizard. And if you don't want to see those boxes, the borders, you right click on the category totals and here you'll see border style solid. Okay, so I'm going to change it to transparent. So the, now it shouldn't show up. And let me check the totals down here and make sure they don't have the borders. Yes, they do. So I'm going to switch it to transparent as well. All right. And... Um, Okay, so now the borders are not showing up around the grand total, so it looks cleaner. And um, now if we switch to print view, okay, so this is what it will look like when it's printed. So it looks a lot better now, but okay, that's page one. Okay, and here we've got the page header appearing here. So that's much nicer. And uh, now if you wanted to get rid of this alternate color, because as you can see, there's an alternate background color on the details. Oops, tour name is cut off. The E is not showing up. So I got to put that back in. And um, okay, so we're going to get rid of this background color, this alternate background color. And the uh, tour name is cut off. And you know, sometimes if if you wanted each category to appear on a page of its own, because, you know, right now, if our, if our company were to expand and we would have more tours under each category, then it's it would be nice if each category were printed out on a separate page. So we'll do that as well. So we have two more things to do. Remove this alternate background color here and also make each category print out on a new page. So go back to the sign view. Okay, so first let's remove the uh, background color. So the category header has a alternate fill back color. So I'm just going to say none. Same thing with the detail. It has an alternate fill back color. I'm going to set it to none. The wizard put it there. Okay, so now there shouldn't be any alternate background colors. And we said that we wanted each category to start on a separate page to print out on a separate page in print preview. So on category footer, I'm going to right click properties and over here on the right hand side, you'll see here force new page none. I'm going to say force new page after section. So what this will do every time it prints a category footer, it's going to start the next uh, printing the next record on a new page. So that way, um, each category is in a group, um, in a group of pages all by itself. So let's now see the effect of what we just did. So first I go to report view. Okay, so everything looks fine on report view. Oops, I still have a background color here. Okay, so I still missed that one. Okay, print preview. Okay, so on print preview, this is page one. And as you can see now, the next category doesn't print on page one because we specified a uh, force uh, new page after this section. So if you click here, page two, you'll see this is page two. Page three is family. Page four is service. Page five is sightseeing. And page six is the grand total. So I missed a few more things. I forgot to put the E back here in tour name. And also, um, I'm still getting alternate 
background colors on the total. So that's the last thing I need to change. Okay, so over here for the tour name, I think I, I got to make this field a little bigger. And also for the um, category footer, alternate fill back color, none. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to report view. Okay, so now I'm not getting any background colors um, on the report view. And when I go to print preview, okay, tour name is showing up completely now. And when I go to the second page, okay, everything looks nice and lined up. Okay, so that's it. And there's a few more enhancements you can make, but these are some of the basic ways that you can format and enhance your report after the report wizard has created it.